Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of Suicide Squad Isekai. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Whatever it sounded like it was. Oh shit! How the hell did you get the helmet though? Get it though. Okay, one thing I am going to say, we're gonna say this right now. You know how I do final thoughts at the final episode? We're gonna do a part one, part two. You're getting part one at the end of this video, and then you're getting part two on Thursday. Because I got shit to say about this show. So basically, she just died off screen. And you think you're going to handle her, sweetie? Nah. I mean, she said it. Both of these things about to go off. cry to your mom's gone dead 
You didn't know up until now. What else do you do? You can't even defend yourself. How? But where would you go? But to look like Harley in a couple of minutes. I mean, we because duh, they look like each other. It took nine episodes, but finally, oh my God. <laughs> hey, it's always the quiet ones. You watch out for the quiet ones because us quiet girls, <laughs> ruthless. Did they just make them CGI too? Okay. Oh, all right. Girl, what in the Kraken? You know, this is, once again, the one time Harley and the rest of them were here. But <laughs> they watched it before. <laughs>
bitch, have you watched Sailor Moon? You know, a full time when they transform, they put OP as fuck. So in a way, yeah, you can say she kind of is OP. She ain't OP, OP, but still, she kicked the ass. <laughs> Right? Right. What are y'all? <laughs> mm. Brain, so I'll be doing this. My thing's figure is she would fucking like dodge that because does she's in the fucking air. Um, so here's my, th oh. As I was saying, why then try to shoot her if she's definitely going to fucking dodge it? I wouldn't even waste my time on her. You get the zombies and then you use a magic on her ass. We don't have time.
Oh my god. Right? I mean, wouldn't that be a half ass fight? <laughs> What's his face from Demon Slayer in a nutshell? <laughs> I mean, walking through, it's like, oh shit! Her sun's coming up! I'm about to die! It's isekai, you know. Shit don't make no sense sometimes. <laughs> One minute they baby, next minute they full girl. Damn. I mean, she is using our brain. Oh. Nice home run. Oh, now it is, though. Honestly, it just reminds me of the outfit of that one character from um, Solo Leveling Bot. And was like, yeah, oh my god, my dad is so fucking rich. I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> I love his character, though. <laughs> Right. 
啊，我爷啊。Yeah, but do, do y'all not see that Huntress garden too? Okay. Final thoughts, part one. You know how uh, when a company... Well, no, let's just talk about this episode first before we go into final thoughts. This was an okay episode. Um, I don't like the fact that the undead queen technically killed her, um, the princess's mother, Princess Fiona, um, her mom off screen. That would have been something interesting to see in the episode and such because then it makes you wonder, okay... How long has she been dead for? Was it since the beginning of the series before everything happened? Or did it happen like midway through something and just because it happened off screen and we just didn't see it? That is a little fucked up. So I would take the initiative, especially if like for any type of anime, any TV show, any movie, don't do that shit. Because something tells like they took a, a, a half ass uh, approach. So, you remember how, like, season two, a shield hero came and went, and how the other three heroes, after the meeting that they had with, uh, Nalfami and the Queen, they all walk off, and then we never saw them for, like, majority of the show. And then the next time we see them, these whole, these mofos fucking gone! And they'd be like, I'm sitting here like, excuse me? Did I miss an episode? Like, what the fuck happened? And especially at the beginning of this, with seeing one of the, um... One of the Kingsmen, one of, one of her, like, people, with the Thinker helmet, I'm like, how the fuck you get this? And it just made me think, like, did I miss an episode? Because, what the fuck this happened? That's not good pacing and writing. I will. I, I'll. I'll say that. That's the the only nitpick. They did do a little bit better, quality wise, on certain things. There were certain things that looked gorgeous, pretty. Certain fight portions and such, because it's what studio for Christ's sake. Because like, yes, they they got their little yeah. Because they were like, hey, yeah, we did a talk on Titan, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, here, let me give you that little shot, little little remembrance, something. Because especially because of the fact is, small town looks exactly like the same fucking city ish. Duh. <laughs> um, I get it. You you still want to pay homage to something like a bread and butter, like that is your niche, that is like the best thing that you're good at and such, but. Once again, the problem is also CGI. I, I did not think it was necessary once again to do CGI into this. But final thoughts, part one. In a way, even though we are not even done with this show, because we got I got one more episode. One more fucking episode before I'm done, and that'll be on Thursday when I come home. In a way, this did not make a lot of sense. This, this definitely was a passion project. It, it makes you wonder, like, okay, I think we compared this. I, I've compared other situations to this. We, I think we, we talked about the, the Spider-Man Broadway musical, and I think we've also talked about the Don't Worry, Worry Darling situation. Um, if you haven't heard about those situations between, one, a Hollywood movie, two, a Broadway musical that plummeted and such... This is what happens. I'll even compare it to something else. You remember that one anime, the the big pra, uh, the anniversary passion project that Studio Bones was doing that came out, I think, a season or two ago. And me, I, I was it was it, I was hyped up for it because I was like, oh, this looks good. Um, it had two seiyus in it that had um really good chemistry I had seen them in so many other things before and it was like one of the most anticipated things and then I think halfway through it a lot of us including myself um dropped it I never finished it though I still would like to finish it so that I can get like kind of the second approach of it but because of the fact is the pacing the storytelling how at the beginning it was hella interesting and then at the halfway point it started getting boring and it felt like I was pulling needles. That's what it feels like with this show and such. A passion project where it's interesting in the beginning, but slowly but surely 
it just it's tugging and it's like it's like a mm, okay it's like a tutu train or it's like a horse and you know bomb ass horse bomb ass train at the beginning of it and now we're like slowly but surely getting to the end and it makes me wonder and i would love to be a fly on the wall with this series to see what exactly went down with this i, I mean because okay i'll tell you this First thing, once again, as I said in that, the first two, three episodes with that first video, I said 10 episodes is not enough. I was like, however they're doing this story, it's not going to be enough. It's going to be rushed. It's going to be half-assed. By the time I finish this, I'm going to be like, I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much. And so that's how I currently feel in this situation, where it's like, how did we go from such a damn good first three fucking episodes to certain moments in this series where qual the quality like the one moment I think about in this show besides like you know the many moments of Joker because we've had like what under three like I can count that all on one hand that's it about like three to maybe four maybe five at the latest of Joker we might get one more by the final episode on Thursday uh one <laughs> one thing that stood out to me um, it was a running sequence when they were going, uh, against, uh, Arthur's mom and such the, what the fuck was that? No, seriously, what the fuck was that? And I was like, when I watched it, I was like, should I say something about this? I was like, no, 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 I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm going to keep it quiet. But I know a lot of people talked about that because it was all over fucking Twitter. And everybody was like, what the actual fuck? fuck is this and such once again like i said you started out hella fucking interesting but it's like a really half-assed attempt like i said i'm not i'm not mad i'm more disappointed with this series and such and this is why once again with certain shows you cannot always put your eggs in one basket and be like, oh my god, like, yes, this is amazing and such. Because we know every single week an episode is not going to be 10 out of 10 quality. I get that. There is not going to be, because we've talked about this before, there's not going to be something that is going to be animation quality like Demon Slayer, Fate. Um, we can put Jujutsu Kaisen on there, Chainsaw Man. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. I can say maybe, like, original Sailor Moon. We not talking about... Uh, well, I'll talk a little bit about Crystal, but I'll say, like, from season three onward to the current season. We're not talking about season one, season two of Crystal, because <laughs> that's not good. Uh, pretty Cure in a nutshell, because the quality of that animation for Toei Animation, good. In my opinion, it's it's hella better than uh, Silver and Crystal. Um, but anything that is, like, super du duper high, hella good, you have a really good time watching it. I still had a good time watching this. I, I love the fact that I get to see some of these characters again, whether it's from any of them from the movies or even the Harley Quinn TV show. But, because uh, another thing I am going to say about when we, part two, because part two might be all about the main actor, the leading lady herself, because once again, uh, I'll tell you like this. <laughs> and I might even say this again on Thursday. Okay. Remember a couple of years ago when the Charlie's Angels reboot came out and such? And Elizabeth Banks was starring in it, producing it, and directing it. And what she did, and a lot of people were like, what she did was um, when the first poster of this movie came out, her name was everywhere. Fucking everywhere. And I think at the same time when this was coming out, I think Wonder Woman 1 or 2 was coming out. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on this. It's some things I instantly remember and some things I don't. And so the funny thing was leading up to this, like I think it was a month leading up to a month and a week and a couple of weeks leading up to this movie coming out because everybody was like, if this movie fails, which it did, we all know who to blame. And she was talking about how, oh, it's because men don't want to see, um, women like this and stuff and I was and I was like hold up hold up as a woman myself as like yes this is empowering but sometimes there's a mo emotion where it's too much I remember one time like I think somebody was watching the like a trailer for it and the biggest thing that they said there was too much Elizabeth Banks in the trailer 
I will say this with this. There was too much Harley in this. As much as I love fucking Harley Quinn, she is my girl. I love her too fucking much. But because she is a popular character, they needed a character to come in this so that everybody automatically started watching. And of course, it is Harley. Duh. She she is the face. She is the show. Take her out. The show is uninteresting, honestly. Um, and I hate to say that because I love everybody else on this damn cast. Especially say you wise. Who they all got for this show? They got a lot of fucking like good ass sayus for this motherfucking show. High paying sayus for this fucking show. Just let that sink in. Like, truly, let that shit sink in. Especially when you watch the final episode on Wednesday. I mean, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Let that shit sink in. Like, I, I, I mind you, go back and watch every single fucking episode and count how many times Harley was featured. Not only because of means character size. Because, like I said, no hate to Harley because she's my bae. I love her so much. Um, because the funny thing was, even somebody else, I think a video a couple of weeks ago, uh, two, three weeks ago that I had watched, Somebody also said there was too much Harley up in this. But because she is the face, it made the most sense. I just wish what they possibly would have done, and we'll even talk about this more, is that everybody in the Suicide Squad, we should have had more episodes on their backstory. Not just showing it and then moving it on and such. Harley got more focus on it, which I get it once again. But it's like... Okay, this is my last comparison. <laughs> this is my last fucking comparison. Remember when Final Fantasy XV came out? And, you know, when that got super duper big. And we got, I think, we got the movie. We got, I think, um, the the anime. The, four, the, the what, the six or four. The four to six episode. Uh... No, no, King's Glaive was the movie. Brotherhood. There we go. Yes. The, the, the four to six episode Brotherhood series that is on Country Roll and such. And the biggest thing was they were showing all this. Leading everything all up to the game coming out. And they didn't tell people that they had to go watch this stuff to know certain things because there were spoilers in the movie and in the anime and such and so if you played the game and there was this one portion in the game where it's like it doesn't show like you're you're hearing about certain things you're like what the freak happened we were only gone for a couple of days and then it was like mm. <laughs> the meme <laughs> the meme that came out of this if i if i could find the the just a pancake video on the final fantasy 15 thing oh my god i i will link that shit because Every time I watch that crap, it's so fucking funny, um, where it's like, do you want to purchase this movie to watch this? Do you want to go on, uh, purchase a Crunchyroll account to purchase, to watch this? Do you want to purchase this DLC? And such. And so, the, the fandom of when that game came out was, like, mixed. Like, why do I, why did I have to do homework and such? There were so many people talking about that shit. There, so, I wouldn't say there's still a lot of people talking about that shit now, but still, it, that's what it felt like with this. Especially missing so much stuff. You, if you hadn't even seen um, either one of the two Suicide, Suicide Squad movies or even maybe like the first, well, because I wouldn't say the Harley Quinn adult series doesn't really have anything to do with this show, but it's almost kind of recommended to kind of watch it because both Nana and Clayface are both in the show. I think Peacemaker is also in it too. I'm not sure because I, I kind of stopped watching it after a while, but I may rewatch it from the beginning though. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, do your homework and then go watch the movie and the TV show and then come back, you know? So that's my little part one take of it. We're going to talk more about that <laughs> when the final episode comes out, probably overall with just how I felt about this show. I just needed to get that out because I had tweeted <laughs> something before I had started watching both this and GTRM, and I was like, should I really just, is it really worth it to like finish the show and such? And I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to finish it because I said I was going to, but I was like, we, I was like, I'm going to do something different this time. But 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Suicide Squad Isekai. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys on Thursday when I come home between, like, 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Um for the final episode and the final overall thoughts I have with this show. I promise not to make it <laughs> almost 40 minutes like this video. I was not expecting to make a, almost a 40 minute video because oof, I didn't think I was going to talk that much, but I had to. It was either gonna be now or later. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.